Yeah, hello guys. Um, so actually, it's been a while since I've done the spinach video and I it has been way too long since the discovery of another technique that is equally game-breaking as spinach and no video explaining what it is. For everyone following the Jedi Academy speedrunning scene and today is the day. So I want to explain what crash roosting is and in order to do that, just a quick reminder of how Jedi Academy works. So in Data Academy you use strafe jumping in order to go fast and you need to be, in order to maintain your speed on a jump, you need to be either going downhill. So as you can see here, I kept my speed on the top, on the, on the left side there's the speedometer um, plotting my speed against time. And as you can see, every time I touch the ground and I don't go downhill, I will lose half of my speed. So as you see this uh, sawtooth pattern right there, well when I go downhill then I can keep my speed for the duration of the jump. And this can be changed together. This is, of course, known as elevation boosting. Probably know all of this. Um, yada yada yada. So this is just one technique of maintaining your speed. Another thing you can do is spin glitch, which I've already discussed. And the third thing is called crouch boosting. And what is crouch boosting? So basically, in this game, when you touch your ground, a function is called which reduces your speed by half unless certain things are done. Uh, most of them are useless. One of them is, yes, you went downhill. One of them is you did a saber spin. And the third one, which we can abuse in or, uh, order to go fast in a speedrun, is that you're in a crouching spate, uh, state. Sorry. But what happens now, for example, when you're in third person and you're crouching, then this is going to happen, right? You will always get a roll. The roll is really, really slow. It will cap all your movement speed down, and uh, you are not able to jump out of it. So how do we uh, cancel a roll in Jedi Academy? By, for example, by doing a spin, uh, a saber animation, for example, a swing, or by being in first person. So in first person, you are actually not able to roll, as you can see. So once we know these two things, we can actually abuse that the velocity reduction is not applied instantly once we touch the ground, okay? So what happens now when we crouch, touch the ground, and jump instantly out of the jump is that we can preserve some of our speed when we touch the ground. So I hope that's not too complicated for you. I'm just gonna hopefully show it off. So on the left side, once again, you see my speed. I do one without a crouch boost. I get lucky because there is a random boost, I'm sorry. And as you can see, my speed is divided by two once I touch the ground. So now I do it with a crouch boost, hopefully. I jump out of my jump, uh, sorry, out of my crouch. And the second time you saw it worked, I timed my jump correctly. And there as well, you can see how my speed does, did not go down significantly. There I missed it. It's all, of course, dependent on how good your timing with your crouch and jump out of the crouch is. I can do the same in first person. Look at my inputs on the bottom, bottom left and also on my speedometer. So I missed all three of those. But for example, this one was okay, I believe. So there I got a good one, this last one made me preserve my speed, and this is what is called a crouch boost. So yeah, that's what people use. Um, for example, in the CB category, which you see on the on the main leaderboards, you see these three letters pop up, EB, CB, SG. So the people who have CB in their category name next to their ones on the leaderboards are actually using crouch boosting in order to go fast. And crouch boosting is a really fascinating technique, just like, like spin glitch, because it adds a thing uh, on every single jump that you're doing. So in order to go really fast with Crouch Boost, um, of course it enables you to do really crazy things. Like, uh, um, for example, extend extending your jump chains on stuff that is higher and then you can get an elevation boost, easy one out of that, uh, or other things, but it is extremely difficult to do well. And the timing is so precise that nailing many Crouch Boosts one after the other is, is quite challenging. And... Uh, yeah, just like Swingledge, it adds an, an additional component to the game, which makes it extremely fascinating. So I hope that video was useful to you guys, and hopefully see you soon. Peace.